Hello subscribers, I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Mattel Jurassic World Dominion Roar Strikers Lyoplorodon. When this was first announced, I was very excited since it's not too often that we get marine creatures for a Jurassic line, and Lyoplorodon is my favorite marine reptile. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. Right here, you've got the yellow-orange Jurassic World Dominion logo. Right here, um, the dark blue sky with the helicopter and the tree line, the render of Rexy the Tyrannosaurus. There's the logo once again on the side, and on the top, on this side, you've got the ugly Pyroraptor. On the back, there's an image of the toy with its action features, and the other Wave 2 Roar Strikers. There's the awesome looking Mega Raptor that lazily done Sinoceratops, I do not know how that got approved, and a decent looking Iguanodon. So let's waste no time and see what this Pliosaur has to offer. Here is the Lyoplorodon out of the packaging, and I have to say, this is a neat figure. It exceeded my expectations. Though, there is one issue that many people have with this, is Mattel gave a marine animal electronics. I can understand where those people are coming from, since some kids are going to want to take this into the pool to play with it, or some people just want to take some underwater photos. But to me, it's really not that big of a problem since I'm not taking this into the water. So let's dive in and check out the detailing. Taking a look at the head sculpt, you can see that it's very alligator-like due to the ridge above the eye, the uneven teeth which can only be seen on the upper jaw, the thick scales, and the very broad snout. Opening up the jaw, you can see that it's mainly glossy and smooth per usual with these Jurassic World toys, but if you look closely, there's the pterygoid teeth, and no pliosaur is known to have this feature. Mosasaurs are the only other marine reptile group that have the pterygoid teeth, so I'm assuming whoever sculpted this got confused between the two reptile groups. You can also see some scoots that are visible on the lower jaw, the neck, and the back. The rest of the body, from the top to the flippers and the bottom, it's on the smoother side, but that's reasonable since marine reptiles like this had smooth skin. And a fantastic thing, Mattel added a tail fluke, which is a key feature of all plesiosaurs. The paint job consists of a brown striping, which unfortunately does not continue down the tail, a gray color on the top, and a beige color on the underbelly. At first, I wasn't too fond of it, but now I really like it. It definitely suits this marine predator, and it also feels more unique from the abundant black and white Lyoplorodon depictions, which were clearly inspired by walking with dinosaurs. This toy has five points of articulation. The first one is the short tail, and the other four are the ball jointed flippers, which are absolutely awesome. This feature is what I loved about the battle damage plesiosaurus. You can move the flippers in all directions, which allows you to put this in a multitude of poses. Let me put this in a swimming pose right now. This right here is my favorite pose for this and the plesiosaurus. You guys may have noticed the very long flippers, and what this reminds me of is the updated Pliosaurus Funke. If you guys didn't know, Pliosaurus Funke got downsized from 13 meters to 8.8 .8 meters, and as a result, its proportions changed. The animal now had a very large head and long flippers compared to its body. Now let's check out the gimmick. You push this button, and the creature will roar and move its mouth and neck. So one of those sound effects was a biting noise, the other was a deep growl which actually sounded like it belonged to a marine reptile, and the other one was just reused from one of the Jurassic World herbivorous dinosaurs. Starting off with our usual comparisons, here is the real feel Mosasaurus and battle damage Plesiosaurus. It's unfortunate that we only have three species of marine reptile despite Mattel making Jurassic World toys for about four years. But on the bright side, Mattel just revealed prototype images of a new toy line, presumably one to tie in with Camp Cretaceous Season 5, and we're getting two more marine reptiles, another Pliosaur and a Nodosaurus. Next, here are all three variants of Mattel's Plesiosaurus. Up next, we have the other Roar Striker dinosaurs. The last one that's going to be released is the Ichthyovenator. And I'll try to review these two as soon as I can. Here is the massive action Yangshuanosaurus and the massive action Ampelosaurus. Next, we have the Wave 2 dinosaur and human packs so you can get an idea of how big this Lyoplerodon is compared to the humans. 
Here is the Sound Slashing Therizinosaurus, the Roaring Allosaurus, and the Sound Surge Giganotosaurus. Here is the Lyoplorodon next to the Hammond Collection dinosaurs that I have. Last but not least, here is the Collecte Xyphactinus and the Collecte Mini Xyphactinus. Well, that wraps up my review on the Mattel Jurassic World Dominion Roar Strikers Lyoplorodon. Is this a perfect action figure? No, but I still think it's a great toy. The sound effects and the color scheme suits the animal, and of course, there's those awesome ball jointed flippers. So I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. If you guys enjoyed this review, hit that like and subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section about what you think of this marine reptile figure.